Hello everybody. So I might sound a little bit weird. I'm a little bit sick, but nonetheless, I wanted to make this a uh, quick update because I wanted to show what progress so far has been made. Uh, so as you all know, with the reboot, uh, a lot of planning is taking place first. I have to ensure that the species, their references are done, character sheets are done. All of these things will, of course, take priority because, well, you, you can't really go and animate everything without having the designs and characters ready. So uh, by now we have, uh, well, the first thing that was done was Rusa's profile. Her profile is done by now. Uh, again, it's probably best that you follow me on DeviantArt or Discord because I will regularly uh, update there and uh, give info on what's coming next. Of course, if you want uh, early sneak peeks and want to see everything first, then uh, Patreon is, of course, the second option that you have. Now, uh, with the designs, basically, I started out uh, to test with forester species. Um, as some of you might already know, the plant species is going to be dropped out. So sadly, no plant species anymore. The same is uh, for the magma species. Uh, this is to basically prioritize uh, one species rather than two species that are kind of almost identical. Um, so we have the forester species. They are now all done. They have a, basically a reboot of their original design. Uh, they still kind of look quite a bit like that, but they do have some changes. And that's kind of fun. With that said, I also made a how to make a fan character chart. This was more so for uh, the people who were really interested already to get fan characters. And also, of course, for the canon characters that are going to be appearing. So the next species that was done was Shadow. This uh, chart is also completely done. You can, again, uh, check this out on the in uh, great detail on the uh, Deviant Art. Now, after this, I began to basically ask people on the Patreon um, which they would like to see first. And so, based on ratings, I began doing the next species or characters. Uh, we have the fire species that's also done by now. Uh, this was a species that was uh, rebooted through a contest design, meaning that a contest was held for a possible new design for the species, and that this design uh, would basically become the new fire wolf for uh, Azar Hall Reborn, of course. Now, this species actually still has quite some resemblance to the original, so that's kind of a nice callback there. Now, of course, Kaito Boy here, he also got his own profile now. Just look at that cute little pupper. Okay, no, no. go on, go on. And then uh, we have, of course, the mud species. Now, these guys were pretty loved on Discord and on DeviantArt, so that's kind of fun to know. I just uh, updated their design. I always kind of like their color scheme. And so I just went for a few changes. After the mud species, it was uh, set his turn. Set with his beautiful smile. Everybody admired that. Not just kidding. Uh, and after set, we had Matt. As you might see already, he looks a whole lot different. So Matt, of course, was originally a plant wolf. And being a plant wolf, he of course had to change to the forester species. He basically kept a little bit of a mutation there, which is black for his kind. Uh, this coloration is especially visible in his uh, markings, as you can see there. Aside from that, he also went through a new name. Matt has been changed for Myram. Now, Matt originally was, well, is really human-like. And for Azur Howl Reborn, I prefer to have more special or unique sounding names. So this is why he became Myron. He still has a little bit of hints to his old design though, like the little uh, leaf mark. Now I made the leaf mark resemble that of his mother a bit more. So he has kind of more like a leaf gem in the middle of his head now. But yeah, moving on from uh, Myron, the cosmic species, uh, their chart was made. Now this species was really a special one for me to do because these were uh, voted on the polls as a fan favorite. Because of this, originally, I would not alter the design. I would leave it as close as possible to the original and basically give traits only. But this changed and because I was actually kind of just experimenting and I just drew something just for the funs of it and I really ended up liking it. But that wasn't the only reason. There was uh, something new to them, is their ability. 
which is called camouflage. And I really wanted to do this ability, but this ability just could not work with their original design because it would make them look really blonde and bland and, and gray or however you say that. But basically, um, when they leave the territory and uh, they do not have their energy rolling around, um, rolling around, I mean, going on, they uh, will basically look more gray and they will have these gray tones and their pelts will change to a gray color. Now, of course, with their original design, they would look just flat gray and it just didn't look nice. But with this new design, it really looks pretty nice. And I remember showing them and I was a little bit worried because this was a fan favorite, but the majority ended up immediately wanting the new version of their design. And so I kind of went with that. They did kind of lose their uh, very recognizable yellow markings. Well, they are still, of course, uh, possible in their palette. Now, after the cosmic species, we move on to Kala. Now, Kala, just like Matt, has also a new name. Her name is Vesuvia, which is a reference to Mount Vesuvius, which I visited. It was a really nice looking place, and she just deserves to be named after a volcano. Why not? So Vesuvia, she also, of course, looks a bit different with her new uh, species design. She has, of course, visible mane there, but I still wanted to keep her really as close as possible to her original look, which is why you still see she has these red dots above her eyes and she has those eye markings. Well, those red dots she actually always had, but they just weren't really visible. Then um, we move over to the next species that came out, and that was a chaos species. So the chaos species also went through quite a change. Originally they had a completely uh, black pelt. Now I still kind of wanted to keep it that way, but I just couldn't help but feel like I wanted something more with these guys. So I, pr I, I tested a bit around and I wanted to see how things looked and I showed it off to Patreon supporters and they ended up really liking it. So I decided, you know, I'm going with it. So Chaos Wolves now have this kind of a uh, medium dark gray pelt with very uh, dark markings covering them. So from their head uh, gives a stripe down to their entire tail, their paws. They also have a different type of uh, paws, so to speak, than other wolves. They are first of all really flexible more, and they actually have larger claws on the outer toes. Their dew claws also have much uh, larger nails, and they can actually move them. Unlike you know most canines, cannot really do much with that thing. The chaos wolves themselves do have a, a different mechanic, meaning uh, for their symbolism, for example kind of to hint to their original design where symbolism was rare, I decided to make it so that their symbolism can disappear, or, well, so to speak, turned off. Meaning, when they walk around, just like regular, they will just have uh, their regular pelt. They can have markings, because that's also a new system with the species. They can have, uh, they can be symbolized, they can be marked, and they can be symbolized and marked. So there's a difference between these now. And you wouldn't know if they're symbolized or not. You could say maybe they're marked, but you wouldn't be able to tell that they're symbolized unless maybe they're angry or they show off their symbols. Um, after the Chaos species, it was finally uh, Loken's turn. And Loken himself also makes a more interesting change. So this is his new look now. And as you can see, he kind of has some resemblances to both Kaito and Ruza. You can see he definitely has that same green mutation going on that Kaito has. You can also see that Ruza there shares very similar markings with her dad, and equally Kaito kinda a little bit as well. But Loken definitely went through a huge change. It's really sad to say because I really had no personal connection to Loken. I didn't really care too much about that character, and even from the knowledge of people, the majority just cared about Luna and didn't really notice Loken there in the background dying. But yeah. Uh, I hope to change that. I definitely did something more interesting with Logan, and I personally am already getting a little bit attached to him. So it will be fun to show him off and being quite a bit different now. Uh, now the, for the final thing that I'm going to mention for this update is going to be Chaos. Chaos, as in not the species, but Chaos himself. He also has his uh, new profile now. So Chaos definitely looks a lot different too. He has a lot more markings than he ever had. 
Now, of course, chaos cannot be recognized that easily unless you well, stare them in the eyes because the symbols will not be active all the time. Chances are you see him walking around in the episode and you don't see those symbols at all. But chaos himself does have uh, a lot more symbols now. He used to have this entire facial symbol going on, but my god, I really regret that, that symbol I half of the time. I have no clue how to <laughs> deal with that one. <laughs> But now he basically has uh, eye markings, kind of to resemble that facial mark. And he has these tiny green lines there, kind of as a hint back to his original scheme of green and blue. So Chaos also has heterochromia, which is two different eye colors. This is kind of as well a callback to his original design, and kind of to keep that green a little bit in there. Um, now that was it for the update. Um, I'll definitely do another update when extra charts or more profile references are out. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the update. Again, if you'd like to know more, it's best to follow me on either Patreon, uh, Discord or DeviantArt. Have a nice day!